Hi my angels! Today is a bit of a different video. I just had to go and move my lighting because I feel like I haven't filmed in here in a long time. But I've watched so many fun videos like this and I've never done one myself and I thought it's been a while since I've just sat down and just chatted to you guys here on YouTube so that is what we're gonna do today. It's gonna be a bit of a mukbang life update because I've been so busy today I haven't really eaten yet. Let me show you what I've got. I have nasto. For those of you who don't know what nasto is, it is Indian snacks. Speaking of Indian snacks, this is how we're gonna start this mukbang off because these are like, you don't know what these are. I don't actually know whether we can be friends because these are the best crisps in the entire universe. Period. These are the Colac Hot and Spicy Chili and Lemon Crisps. They also do chili and garlic, and then they do black pepper. But these ones, these are the OG. The actual old ones used to come in like a bright, shiny, metallic, like yellowy packaging, and they were the best. I feel like they've definitely changed their um, how they make them over the years, because I remember eating these when I was really little. First thing is first, I need to get this lipstick off, otherwise I'm literally gonna get it all over my face. I feel like I'll probably get some questions on this. This is a MAC Harder Kiss liquid lipstick. Really, really stunning. It's just so comfortable on the skin. So, life update. I feel like I need to put my feet up and like relax. What has been going on? I feel like the last time I actually sat down and spoke to you guys was way back in, I wanna say like February time where I did a little video of like how I was feeling and not just feeling in general but like feeling over the last few years and um, it was just really nice to get that off my chest because I feel like I had it inside me and I hadn't told anyone like I'm talking I hadn't even told like family and friends how I was feeling the only person that actually knew how I was feeling actually was like my best friend and my husband like those were the only two people that knew and even with my best friend and husband I didn't tell them everything after that video I felt so good. I felt like I had this whole like weight just lifted off of me. Um, it was really comforting actually to hear other people who were going through like the same thing or like felt the same way. And it made me feel like I wasn't alone. I feel like a lot of the times we think that we're the only ones who think a certain way or feel a certain way, but there are hundreds and thousands of people who are probably going through a very, very similar thing that you are. Do you guys want to know a fun fact? This is my second packet today. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch and dinner for the rest of my life. I'm waiting for my Colac sponsor. <laughs> if anyone from Colac is watching this right now, I'm very happy to be the face of these crisps because they're the best. Also, I know I'm gonna get loads of questions on where to get this. We got this from Falcon. My mom is like an avid Falcon shopper and Falcon, for those of you who don't know, is a place in Leicester and it's like a big like wholesale -y kind of like Indian shop with like Indian food. Um, and she always gets boxes from there. That's where she's always got them ever since I was little. They actually have a website, I believe, where you can order this online. So I will leave a link to that because that's where I'm gonna be getting mine. You can get them from Amazon, but they work out to be really expensive. And I know like shops around the country where a box is selling for like five or six pounds. So that's where I'm like, do I really want to spend 25 pounds on a box when I could get like three boxes in that price? <laughs> that is like the Indian in me coming out. But um, yeah, these are the best. I don't really believe in Australia. I believe you can get them from some Asda's as well. Because I had loads of people. Oh, we had like a whole like chili and lemon gate on my Instagram. Because I was like, I really, really want some. And then my mum happened to go to Leicester and she got me a box or two. Where was I? This is another the other thing that I love. Ventiman's Rose Lemonade. It's so good. Their cola is really, really, really good. A lot of the stuff that I'm eating probably isn't really good for you, but it's okay. I feel like I've had a very busy day and I deserve it. So yeah, um, so that video I did, like, I think right before the lockdown happened. I actually don't know what life feels like pre-lockdown. I, I like, it's like a distant memory. It's really weird. I don't know whether anyone else feels like that, but like, I feel like I can't remember what it feels like to like be in like normal life, like doing normal things and not having curfews and not, yeah, it just, it just feels really like a distant memory. Um, but we're all doing okay. Family's good. I can't actually see my family because there's three of us who live in this house. So if my brother wants to come over, there's four of them. There's like a six person rule. So we can't actually see them all together. So I would have to like go and see them or like if they're at my mum's house, like go and see them that way. But yeah, everyone else is really good. We're all just trying to, I suppose, like just adjust to this new life. And there are ups and downs and, and there are left and rights and 
there are so many emotions but I feel like I've gotten very used to it I feel like I've turned into a bit of a homebody like I quite like being at home I feel like a part of me is just waiting until we can travel again I know travel restrictions are kind of lifted and you can go and travel to loads of different places but um we're just being a little bit on the safe side um but yeah I'm really 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 hoping to do more travel within Europe because Europe is literally at our doorstep and I feel like I haven't seen a lot of Europe by the way if you guys want to grab a snack we can mukbang together. Mmm. Oh my god. I feel like a lot of the times, people who watch me on YouTube don't necessarily follow me on, like, Instagram. It's, like, one or the other. You either follow me or you either don't. But on Instagram, I announced last week that I am the first ever little kosher from, like, the countryside in the UK is a global Becca ambassador, which is mind-blowingly crazy like i never in a million years thought that would ever happen but i love everything that becca as a brand stands for and they've obviously seen that i love them and we have been in the talks for this for a very long time and i can finally announce to you guys on social media and on the internet that i am officially a becca glow ambassador <laughs> it's so cool it's like really 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 cool to be able to say this out loud um but that's something really really exciting that's been happening i've actually filmed this makeup look which will be going up onto my channel next week so please watch out for that what else mm. me and my husband finished how to get away with murder i cannot believe that was a final 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 season if anyone knows of any tv shows that are similar to how to get away with murder like with like a bit of like a murder mystery crime investigation law that kind of vibe please let me know in the comments because we're always like we sit down in the evenings and we try to have like off time where we're like not thinking about work or doing work and we sit down and we just watch something on netflix or like something on tv a lot of the times we will watch something like a spiritual documentary which we'll watch on this platform called gaia but every single time we resort to netflix we're like what do we watch like we always get stuck so if you guys know of any really cool um movies or tv series to watch on netflix please let me know i've literally got so much anastor here oh my god i am an auntie again which is the coolest thing so this is my one two three four fifth time being an auntie this is in like my dad's like immediate family so like my cousins who are like my first cousins i like they're like my brothers and sisters i became a fifth time auntie in the lockdown which was very crazy um i held him for the first time a couple of weeks ago and oh my god he's the cutest chunkiest little thing tupac also loves him people on instagram love tupac and i have shown you guys him on youtube as well he's really cute he has got a bit of an ear infection at the moment so he's recovering from that this is the best bit you guys want to know something when i was little i loved these crisps so much i would open them up <laughs> and then lick all of them they're like chili salt in their mouth <laughs> like, i'm sure someone else has done that again I'm probably not the only i really hope i'm not the only one i'm like getting bored of so many parts of the house and i'm like i want to like redo stuff and like spruce things up and i feel like especially because we spend so much time in the house as well i'm like oh we should really do this or we should really do that or we should really get a painting put here and i found this incredible abstract artist on facebook and i got in touch with him and we got a painting put up in our dining room i'm gonna see if i can insert a little picture here so you guys can see it it is so beautiful and it sparked something inside of me we were having this conversation with um like people like in our families and stuff and friends and whatnot but we were saying how a lot of times and i don't want to generalize so please don't make this out that this is everyone but a lot of times maybe sometimes in your case maybe never in your case but a lot of the times in my case growing up there was this very um competitive nature that we would get from aunties uncles parents grandparents where they would compare you to your your siblings and your peers so i've been so many times where like i've been compared to someone or someone's been compared to me and that's always given me some sort of like internal conflict of like am i good enough am i that good enough? am i good at what i'm doing at, like there are so many questions that go on in my head and i feel like a lot of the times we get told like oh you got x grades or look who what someone else is doing and it's almost kind of like an indirect towards you like look what you're doing and that there's, there's always been this sense of like rivalry between the asian community especially for me and my friends and family like we've all felt that and when i had this artist come and like, they dropped off the painting to us and it was beautiful he and his wife came to drop it over and we were just chatting to them and it really sparked this 
this like fire in me and I was like why do we not support more of our Bessie owned companies or brands or people why do we not support more of them so I basically started this hashtag on Instagram which is hashtag Bessie owned and basically every week on there I showcase I'm starting off showcasing the brands and things that I have in my home that are owned by Desi people. I've been doing that for a couple of weeks now and I love it and I feel like I get such a good response from you guys because I feel like as a family we can then support our families and our brothers and sisters out there who are doing incredible things who are starting out their own businesses who are trying to turn their passion into their paycheck so I feel like that's such an important thing that we can do even if there's one thing you can take away from this actually two things you can take away from this video is you need to have chili and lemon crisps in your house and the second one <laughs> being to support more of their own businesses I have so many that I have in my home which I will actually leave a link to in my description box because I I've literally got one right here. Let me just show you very, very quickly. This coaster right here, which I've actually written my name on, um, this coaster is owned by a lovely, lovely girl called Nikki Mahon, and she is a boss woman. She is a Indian girl who literally owns this incredible company, and I always get so many questions on my coasters of like, where are they from? They're so beautiful, and they're from her. I am not only an avid supporter of these Desi businesses, but I'm also a customer as well. So um, I will leave a link to a whole bunch of them in the description box. Mm -mm. There's actually another one that I really want to show you because it's beautiful. I very rarely talk about this on the internet because I find that this is not an Indian snack. This is a Costco snack. Whenever you're trying to make certain changes in your lifestyle, people on the internet will always pick out, oh, you do this or I saw that or you don't do this or you don't do that. I'm trying to slowly change my lifestyle and my habits it is something that's more sustainable. One of them being, I have stopped buying luxury like designer handbags unless they are sustainable or cruelty free um, and vegan. And I came across this brand, which again is a Desi owned brand. And it is this bag right here. It's from a brand called Amare. And this bag is a luxury item. I would say it's quite like a high end designer kind of looking item. And it is actually made from cactus leather which is super 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 sustainable i believe that the cactus only drinks like a very minimal amount of water but yields a lot of cactus leather so it's very very good for the environment i believe all the cactus that is used for these bags is from mexico which i love mexico and um this little guy right here is a little rabbit and in its eye is a little ruby i don't know whether you guys can see i'm gonna leave a link to this brand as well in the description box so please please, please go and check them out i actually have a code as well in case you guys want to um get some money off i got a 10 percent discount code for them and it's also got this beautiful gold chain and this actually fits a lot of stuff you can pop your phone into the front which we love and then in here i can legit get there's like chewing look, let me show you what's in here right now <laughs> chewing gum and two lip products in here i can fit my keys i can fit my whole card little wallet thing in here looks like a small bag but you can actually fit so much stuff in it and i took this out when we went out for dinner a couple of weekends ago and i love 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 it so that's another thing i wanted to show you very quickly before i forget but yeah if you guys have a brand or you are a brand or you have a service or you have something within any industry then please 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 use the hashtag Desi owned on Instagram because once I've gone through all of the products and things that I have within my home I'm going to be sharing things that I find on the hashtag every single week so please 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 get involved um, and I really hope it helps our community out I oh, look another one love tinted literally they've got so much stuff on my desk but yeah what else do I have I think it's time to get the good, good stuff. My mum said this is really nice and spicy and that I will really like it, so <laughs> I kid you not. There are Cheerios in here. There are cornflakes in here and Rice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has shown me and my mum love on our last video. She is the cutest little thing ever, but I feel like you guys want to see more of her, so I'm definitely going to try and film some more videos with her. Mm. Who would have thought that Cheerios and cornflakes and Rice Krispies could be this delicious what kind of videos do you want to see with us two because i've got some ideas in my head but like i don't know what, what kind of videos you guys want to see i'm going to try and merge the two um of what i want to film and what you guys want to see together i know it is navratri soon and navratri holds a very bittersweet place in my heart i would go all 10 days including the with my dad my dad used to be a musician and he would play the music and we would be the 
literally the first people there and some of the last people to leave for 10 days in a row. Ever since he passed away, I'd always feel like, oh, like, it would just bring back so many memories after he passed away that I used to not go as much. And of course, with everything going on in the world at the moment, I wanted to do something really, really cool over on my Instagram where we get to celebrate together. So I have been working on something really, really, really fun with Damini and it's all gonna launch on the first day of Navratri, which is the 17th of October, which is a Saturday. None of the content for Instagram has been made yet, but I'm just so excited for it. Um, I really hope you guys like it as well. I feel like work has been just so busy that I haven't really been able to sit down and just chat to you guys, which I feel like this is really nice to be able to just sit down and talk. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is very gassy guys, very gassy. <laughs> it's so delicious. My garden is finally done. And I have an area to plant my own fruit and veg and, well, mainly vegetables I think. I really, really, really want an apple tree. Um, but this specific kind of apple tree that we grew up with, like me and my cousins, we all lived together and in our garden we used to have this huge apple tree and the apples were like literally this big and you could like eat them in one bite and they were really sour and they were so nice I think they're called a crabby apples crabby apples or something like that they're literally the size of a cherry uh, so good we have one more thing left to finish off for our meditation room to be finally finally done and I will do a updated video to show you guys the like final like of what it looks like um, and do a proper little tour up there next time round I might do a like themed mukbang of maybe answering specific dilemmas or questions. Let me know if you guys want me to do any more of these like sit down chatty mukbang, even just like a sit down video just talking to you guys because I feel like we don't get to just sit and talk if that makes sense, like just hang out and relax and just chat. That is everything from me for now. I hope you enjoyed this rather random rambly mukbang video. I've never done anything like this before, so please, please, please forgive me if it is not that great. But hopefully I got to update you on some things that have been going on. I'll leave a list to everything that I've mentioned um, in the description box below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave me a comment below. And if you are missing out on any of my future uploads or like new videos, then if you hit the notification bell, which is somewhere down there, then it will notify you every single time I upload a new video. That is everything from me and hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video.